Hey everybody, Volen here. Last video, I mentioned that I might show you guys some new artwork. I disappeared from the internet pretty much completely for about four or five months. No social, no YouTube, no anything. So, haven't really shared anything anywhere for a pretty long time. So, I thought I'd show you some of the things that I was doing while I was away. More important than showing you pictures though, I really want to talk you through some of the thinking that helped me improve. I really feel like the time that, that I was away in, I really managed to get some pretty good improvement in. And the reason behind that, it isn't so much because I got plus another four months or plus another five months of work. It isn't necessarily just grinding through something. If you're self-taught or really regardless of how you're learning, whether you go somewhere or if you're doing it by yourself, you still are always in charge of the final product and of the process. Your teacher may misunderstand you. They may not be doing what it is that you want to do. So whatever the final outcome is, you're responsible and you're ultimately in control of how it gets developed. A lot of the comments that I get really give me the impression that people are so intensely focused on just grinding through stuff on what I call just smashing your way through a wall with your forehead, just like literally smashing through the wall instead of maybe just, hey, there might be a door or you know what, maybe I could use something else. But when you're in that mode of just working hard because it does take hard work and it does take a very long time to get good. So people get so caught up in the fact that it takes a long time and it takes a lot of effort that they're just trying to get the effort out the way but there's really no way to do this without also the strategic thinking the planning of where you're going to end up in because you can hammer your way through the wall with your face and then look at it and say hey, you know what that was that was the wrong wall i need to go to that wall now and do it again not necessarily a good idea so anyway, this is what I've been doing. I've been trying to stop smashing concrete with my face and instead be a little bit more strategic, get rid of a lot of bad habits. Not necessarily permanently, you can do that, but if you're self-taught, I'm gonna try and keep it brief here so we can actually get started. If you're self-taught, you will inevitably misunderstand videos. You will misunderstand demos especially if someone isn't explaining the big picture of what they're doing and you're if you're unfamiliar with the process and you're just watching someone do something especially if the video is sped up and especially if they're very good you will have a lot of weird ideas even about how stuff is done one of the really really big and prominent ones being that you will try and do everything incredibly fast i've had people that when we do mentorships when i work with people when i see them paint if i ask them hey can you just do this for me can i see how your process works can i have a look at this thing they will do everything incredibly quickly. They will not think about anything and the result will be very fast, but often terrible. And it's because they're really, they're seeing stuff, they're replicating it, but it's not happening. It's not happening. What it is that they would like to happen doesn't happen. I've made the exact same mistakes, which is why I kind of know to look out for them, but bad habits take a very long time to even recognize and then to get rid of, it's never permanent. You can always do the bad behavior. Anyway, what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you some of the new work and I'm going to go from last piece. So I'm going to go from best work to then previous, previous, previous. So a little bit worse, a little bit worse, a little bit worse, a lot worse, horrible, terrible. What is that? Why are you doing this? Stop, please. What is that? So we're going to do this. We're going to go from good to bad to what are you doing? And it's the what am I doing part that I was in before I disappeared and rethought some of what I was doing. So this is the last piece that you're seeing on screen right now. I finished this a couple of days ago. None of these are finished. As soon as you finish it, you always know that there's so many things that you could still be doing, but I kind of wrapped it up just because I wanted to move on and I thought I'd spend enough time and learned enough from what I was doing. Still a lot of stuff to kind of fix or get rid of or change, etc. but I'll give you a little kind of walk around. By the way, when I'm showing you these, I'm not really hung up on if they're good or not. They serve the purpose. I used each and every piece to look into something, to try and combine different techniques, to figure stuff out that I wasn't really very confident with, and to try and use each and every piece as an opportunity to learn and really slow down. That's the critical part is really slow down. Take my time with them, right? So just not necessarily 
breeze through them and get everything done, but try and develop a little bit of a story, try and make things a little bit more complex. I guess I could zoom in a little bit more for you. This is kind of everything. I'm not really sure how to show these, by the way. I've almost never done this before, like showing things. So I'm not really sure what you would like to see. So I'm just kind of going to go through them. This is the one right before that. Simple, trying to combine some techniques here. I wanted to do a 3D integration with some photo and then some painting, obviously, and build an atmosphere, build a little bit of a story, build mood, but not necessarily have to resort to like really strong colors or things like that. This one is probably the most story driven thing that I've made. So I really wanted it to have a sense of something going on. You know, I wanted it to have a bit of life. So if we go back before and before, so previous, gonna get a little bit worse. Not great integration here, scale a little bit off. This one I was working on reflections, trying to get things to read correctly. I also had quite a few different options about if I should do foreground elements or not. Still really not too sure about that, but just moved on. It was time to move on. When you get to a certain point, you kind of get stuck. Just move on, leave it. I pretty much think of finishing as being at about the 90 percentile. Just get it to there. That's good enough. And then when you learn a bit more, these, this is when the pieces are for you. And when you learn a bit more, go back to it, polish it the way that you would like it to be. Here's another one early on, a little bit of texture issue over here. This is a little bit more pixelated than everything else, but just trying to build a place, trying to build a mood over here, trying to build some lighting. So each and every one of these kind of serves a purpose. This one, I'm going to go back. This one, I wanted to have direct light in. So this was one of the challenges was to have direct light and hadn't really done that before. If you look at most of these, they're pretty much ambient mostly. So barely any direct lighting. This one, I mean, it should have some direct light, but right now it kind of reads as ambient. It's missing some lighting. So as I work on these, I try and work on whatever my shortcomings are. So I will work on some lighting. I will work on something else, just whatever is necessary at the time. So right before then, a little bit barren. I often ask my girlfriend like, hey, how about this one? Like when I finish something, she'd look at it and be like, me and she'd say that it's kind of empty and yeah i get to see it now when you're doing a piece you really need to step back for a couple days before you can actually see it for what it is otherwise you're too much into it it's the same thing when i did when i stopped doing stuff for four or five months you kind of have to step back to be able to see what it is you're doing otherwise you're just nose to nose to the wall because you're smashing it with your face and you can't really see what's going on or even which wall it is this is the first one of the series so these are, I call them like a three day project. So I basically give myself several days, whereas normally I would want to finish in one sitting because that's how a lot of videos are recorded and you get the illusion a lot of times that everything is done in kind of one session. So I give myself the opportunity to go back over things several times. This one is really unfinished, I would say. Not happy with the water here. It has a lot of work that would need to be done to it. Mood isn't really very defined, I wouldn't think not great integration over here but as i said you know the further we go back the worse we get and these are kind of the better ones so this is these are the better pieces and these are all done roughly about let's say a month and a half total so this is a month and a half i've been gone for four or five months so what's the rest of the stuff you know and the rest of the stuff is the horrible stuff and i guess we're gonna breeze through these a little bit and in the interest of time I'm trying to not stay too long so i'm going to basically show you what the difference is between these now the ones that i'm going to show you that are bad and look i always get comments about people saying hey this isn't bad why are you saying that it's actually very nice i appreciate that thank you for the compliment sorry for making fun of your voice right now but why i'm saying this stuff is because i'm judging it based on what i want my work to be and when i say that these are bad or horrible all that I mean by that is that I'm really not executing these as a professional. I'm really not thinking about what I'm doing. Oftentimes these would be done compulsively without thinking. Same as how you would see, let's say if you watch Fang Zhu and he would start with a blank canvas and just put down paint and just something awesome would come out. Well, if you're a beginner or if you're not at the stage of development that he's in, you cannot do that same thing. It will work for him because he has enough knowledge and enough experience to do it will not work for you. So when I say that they're bad or horrible, really it isn't about the picture. I don't care about pictures very much. What I care about is, did I think through the process? Did I do the necessary steps? Did I put them in the right sequence? It's really about the process. When I have a bad image, 
I had a bad process. I really didn't think through and I didn't do things correctly. That's why they're horrible. It's because the thinking was poor, not because of the piece. I don't care. It could be an amazingly polished piece and still be bad or just not say stuff. But if it's done in a way that I can appreciate the effort in it, then to me that was a success. These are just, they were haphazard. They weren't thought out. And in the space of a couple months to go from something that's unintelligible, like you would not be able to understand the image and what's going on. And to go from something that's so unclear and vague and weird and to be able to go to something that anyone can understand, it has merit to it, it has some story, it has some stuff going on, I would say that that's only a result of thinking. So these, and I'm looking at them in Bridge, just so you know, Bridge kind of softens images up so it makes them all look kind of fuzzy. Sorry, there just won't be enough time to open them all up and in the interest of time to show you more. I'm getting them in Bridge. You see, there's not a lot of one. I really don't understand lighting at this stage. So I actually have to go and learn some extra components. I don't understand, understand lighting well enough to be able to produce the right effects. They're also, they're very unclear. You see, you can't really tell the depth of these. Also, a lot of time I would have the problem that stuff is just black and you can't really see what's going on. So I wouldn't be able to organize the image effectively. I wouldn't build depth and other cues very well. So I really had to step back and build on all this stuff. You can see it's just a, a complete mess. You can't really tell what's in, is this in front of this, or is this a cutout of that, or is this in the back, in the front? Everything is blending. There's just, and these are unfinished. But even if I tried to finish them better, I wouldn't be able to. They would still be as unreadable and strange. And I had to go through a lot of exercises and a lot of kind of things that were uncomfortable and trying to really work through all of those problems individually. I had to first pinpoint what's what the problems are that I'm having. So I couldn't really, I couldn't build complex images at the time very well. I would have a lot of, sometimes I would get a good image, but it was hit and miss, right? So I would get a good image, but then I would get a couple bad ones and it, I really needed to build a more consistent system of winning. So you can see all these are, none of these are really something you would point to and like, yeah, that's cool. If you look at the new ones, there would be a few better ones that stand out from them. So a couple more over here. This is, again, this is right before I started. So you can see this is end of June. So this, this isn't the best work I've done until then. I'm just showing you a piece that was done at about that time and the consistency of work, which is pretty poor. It was pretty hit and miss. So you can see with this thing, it's just, even if I pushed it and tried to finish it, it's just too many things kind of not happening or too many things that are going wrong. Like over here, you know, what's going on? It's I was trying to make complex things, so like have a lot of things going on, but really what's going on? You know, what's it's too many things and you can't really tell which plane is in front of which or what's going on. Things out of scale, things that are lit, things that are unlit, etc. So really needed to build some consistency with all these things. And what are we on about 14 minutes? So it really wouldn't be enough time for me to show you everything, but I guess we can start here. And I guess what I can ask you guys is to just send me some questions about just whatever really caught your attention or whatever you think may be useful to you. And I'd be happy to take some questions and make them into videos. I won't mention your names necessarily. I know some people actually are freaked out because people send me questions and I say, our friend had this question. I won't mention your name unless you want me to. So I'll just put me, put any questions forward in the comments, no names mentioned. You can relax, it'll all be okay. This is how, I guess I'll show you just really quickly. This is how, when I have to learn something that I have no idea. Truck. This is how I would go about just collecting information for anything that I wanna learn. So with, I started with environments right now. All these pieces are environment based. So I needed to understand environments, first step. Like to make a good environment, I have to understand environments. So I started collecting, first of all, just images of good environments. I have all these environments here that are all good. Some of them are photographs, some are paintings, but I would just collect all these things and just have to identify what makes an image good, first of all. Then I would go ahead and start just putting together which ones are the really good ones and then what makes them good ones. So I would start taking them apart, like what makes for a really good image? What are the elements that it would have? Or what are some of the elements of poor images? I would start separating paintings from photographs, 
see the benefits of one and the benefits of other, how good images are structured, what are some of the, you know, what are the common things that you would find? And this is in terms of not just technique, it's in terms of principle. How are they organized? What are the compositions like? What's the value structure like? What things will they use? How much is too much? How much is not enough? How do they design their shapes? You know, or even shape design, you know, just finding out every single component, every single piece of what makes a good image. Good shape, dynamic contrasts, tension, good depth, separation of planes, etc. Particles, at the end, just how you will make it more dynamic, things like that. All those elements, when they come into play, why? How many should you use? Should you use them in every image? How about, how do you make mood? How do you make, make atmosphere? So I would basically make these things, I call them deconstructions. I call them concept deconstruction, which means, which means I take an idea or a concept, in this case, environment, and I will try and deconstruct it, meaning take it completely apart, figure out everything, and then start putting it back together and again and again. And that's how you go from this to something more like this with a lot of practice in between and a lot of tools that you need to have learned beforehand, etc. I'm not saying you can do this in two months or in three months. I'm saying that you can, wherever you are, you can make big improvements in a sort of short amount of time with hard work and with strategic thinking. I think we're going to wrap here. I think we went too long, but hopefully it was useful to you guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you struggle with. Drop me some comments. You can find me on Facebook. Instagram, ArtStation, DeviantArt, I'm pretty much restarting everything. Everything is at, everything is at Volen CK, V-O-L-E-N-C-K. So no longer in pursuit of art, just my name. Keep it simple. So you can find me there, follow me on those so you can get to see a lot of paintings and images as I post them. And that's it. Thank you very much to everyone that made it to the end. Drop me a comment if you did to just let me know. Thank you very much, guys. Hope you're doing good. See you around.